All right guys, we're back today talking about a recent blog post and this one is all about how to get organized. So hopefully you guys are trying to do some new habits with this year 2020 upon us and one of them that's common is getting organized. So we have five tips in the post but we're really just going to focus in on one of the most important in, in this video and we'll share our kind of top tips for our main one which is to give give everything in your house a home um, so making sure everything has its place and we have some tips to share on how to do that yeah so <clears throat> Justin's like uber organized like I thought I was organized before we started dating and he like puts me to shame basically but it's something he's like <laughs> helps me to get better at is this idea of giving everything a home like if everything has a place then um it just naturally eliminates a lot of like clutter and creates like an like ease in your space <clears throat> so we have four tips for going about giving everything a home and the first one is to pick the space that you're going to organize and take everything out <clears throat> so we did like a big pantry rehaul several months ago and that was like the first step we did was like take everything out like take inventory of what you have and that's like a good starting place so there might just be some things you can completely get rid of or it might like illustrate things you need and vice versa so take everything out see what you have in the space that you're trying to organize and make that your starting point yeah so our second tip is to kind of, when you are organizing things, to group like items together. So whatever follows your sense of logic for like items is important and it helps you find things when you're looking for them. So whether it's putting all the Christmas supplies in one bin so you know exactly where they're at or putting all your pens and pencils in one drawer or something like that. but just really find a way to kind of group those those supplies and items into kind of logical ways that really fit how you actually use them and make them easy to find. Yeah, <clears throat> and then kind of taking that like the next step would be to make the items or the things that you use regularly, like every day, the most accessible and easy to get to, just so that they're readily available for you. Yeah, don't put your toothbrush in the back of the closet. Yeah, that would be dumb. It's just an example. <laughs> <laughs> the last tip we have for this one is to use tools. So, like, there's tons of organization tools out there, and you can go crazy on this, but <laughs> you don't need to spend thousands of dollars. You can spend 10 bucks here or there and really help organize things by, uh, like, drawer contain compartments or slide out containers that you put in your pantry or bins in your garage like all of these things can give places a home like a storage cabinet or things like that anything that helps you organize it <clears throat> kind of put it away and give it a home yeah and i think or maybe a bonus tip is to like once you do establish a home for everything is to actually put stuff back in their home when you're done using it yes uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, which that's actually probably the hardest thing to do yeah no it is <laughs> it's to stay organized yeah um, but that's another blog post <laughs> so hopefully <laughs> these help read the full post for all of our tips and good luck getting organized